Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, Admiral, first let me say uh, how much I appreciate uh, the work of the Coast Guard, uh, everything that you do in such a professional uh, uh, manner, and, and uh, what a great uh, service and, and uh, commitment you have to, uh, to this country. I have a, uh, a, several questions here, and I'm just trying to get some clarification, and this is an issue that's come to my attention over the past uh, couple days, and it deals with uh, implementation of the safety of life at sea, International Maritime Organization guidelines regarding the verified gross mass of a container carrying cargo, uh, something that I understand you're uh, uh, more familiar with than I am. Obviously, exports of cargo from the United States are crucial uh, to economic prosperity in this country steel and agriculture in particular. Uh, my district in southeastern North Carolina is uh, predominantly agriculture. Uh, we have the port right there at Wilmington. Uh, so I have an uh, invested interest uh, in this matter for a variety of reasons, but that one specifically. Is it correct that the Coast Guard does not intend to enforce the SOLAS gu uh, guidelines? Walk me through this and, and what's transpired here. So the Coast Guard does enforce SOLAS guidelines. Um, as I mentioned uh, to Congressman Graves, uh, we uh, inspect ships for SOLAS compliance and also for security compliance, and we'll detain those ships if they're not in compliance. Uh, now, for an exporter, uh, and let's use grain as an example, uh, maybe that grain goes in a rail car. Um, and so that exporter uh, has no direct involvement with the container, but when that grain goes into a container, uh, it then goes to the carrier, uh, and it, it arrives in a manifest. It'll say what the contents of the ca container is and what is the weight of the container. Uh, and if that carrier does not see a weight for that particular box, he won't take it on board the ship because he would be in violation of these SOLAS guidelines. But more importantly, these guidelines are designed for stability purposes and for safety of life at sea. So what happens is that box does not get loaded until the weight can be verified. And there are two methods of verifying that weight. Uh, you can add the container and the contents all at once, or you can take the, the weight, the tear weight that shows up on that box, and then add in whatever weight is added into it, add the two, and then that's the weight that would show up on the cargo manifest. But the carrier has to see a weight before they will take that container on board, effective one July of this summer. I'm sorry I wasn't here to hear the uh, entire uh, question and answer uh, with uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Graves. I was chairing another subcommittee hearing uh, on Subcommittee of Livestock and Foreign Ag on the House Ag Committee a few minutes ago and, and just got here. But my question and, and what I'm uh, most concerned about, uh, apparently the shipping industry feels like this is a, a change in direction. Uh, the rug's been pulled out from under them, so to speak, in terms of uh, what they were anticipating and, and the conflicting statements from the Coast Guard. Can you address that specifically? Uh, I will. The, uh, the IMO guidelines came out on the 9th of June of 2014, um, and we've been w engaged with the World Shipping Council, a number of exporters, carriers here in the United States. Uh, so we've had a very aggressive outreach campaign as this date draws nearer. Uh, and, and perhaps it's our outreach campaign that have sensitized others, and maybe it wasn't the IMO guidelines that, that came out, and I can only conjecture in that regard. Um, but the information has rolled out and has been rolling out for nearly two years now as this implementation date draws near. Uh, foreign carriers are pretty much all in compliance today. Uh, when I was at the container terminal in Long Beach uh, a month and a half ago, um, all of the containers that come onto that yard are already weighed before they go in. So I am not seeing a sky falling panacea playing out around us, um, but we need to make sure that there aren't unintended consequences why we're continuing to reach out with, with the many exporters and, and how their commodity ultimately gets in the container and that container shows up on a manifest before it's loaded on board a ship. Uh, what's needed is that final weight. Uh, but by and large, most of these manifests already have that weight filled in in that column. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate it. 